Whether circular knit or flatbed machines are used to produce double knits, there is some variance in how needles are employed to create this fabric. Both sets of needles can be used at the same time or at different times, but they don't touch or hit. How are they positioned and activated to accomplish this? On a knitting machine, needles are gated or spaced in the dial and the cylinder in relationship to each other. With rib gating, the two sets of needles are not directly opposite each other. The needles of the cylinder are between the needles of the dial. Here you can see how both sets of needles can knit at the same time without touching or hitting each other. Although all needles have the same length, the butts are in two different locations, which activates the needles to create patterning. Rib gating results in a fabric where face loops and back loops alternate in the same course. A face whale is made by needles on the cylinder. A back whale is made by needles on the dial. Look closely at the structure of the fabric and you see that a vertical line or whale of visible crowns is arranged between two vertical lines of visible legs. This construction is one by one rib where both sides of the fabric look the same. There are different notation systems for needle selection. This example shows how knit loops alternate one by one on dial and cylinder needles. This notation is for a one by one rib. Notice that both long butt and short butt needles are selected. This notation is for a two by two rib. Here you see that for each feed of yarn, two loops produced on the dial are alternated with two loops produced by the cylinder. Note that with this configuration, only needles of long butt positions knit, while the needles with short butt positions do not knit. Because basic rib knits have alternation of face and back whales, the structure can easily be stretched. In the normal relaxed state, the back whales hide behind the face whales. When stretched in the width, the structure opens like an accordion, resulting in more stretch than single knits and other double knits. The back whales now become visible. When pulled in the length direction, the back whales move behind the face whales and the fabric becomes more narrow. Because of this extensibility, basic ribs are used for sweaters and dresses, as well as for neck collars, arm and waistbands. We've just shown you two of the simplest rib-gated double knits. Another commonly used construction for rib-gated double knits is Swiss pique. Its structure is a bit more complicated. This notation shows you the pattern for knitting on the cylinder below and the dial on top. With feed one of yarn, the machine knits on all the cylinder needles, but on the dial, the machine uses only the needles with long butt positions. With feed two, it misses all the cylinder needles and knits only the dial needles with butts in the long position. With feed three, the machine knits with all the needles on the cylinder, but only with the dial needles that have butts in the short position. With feed four, the machine knits only on the dial needles with short butt positions. The Swiss piquet produced from this needle pattern has a distinctive texture and appearance. The fabric produced has good stability and does not curl.